So what costumes are <laughs> trending across the country? I'm sure mine is, right? Sure cat, cat toys? I'm barrel of laughs, isn't it? Where do you go for very last minute Halloween costume ideas? Justin Burr knows. He is a trends expert for Google and he is now joining us via satellite. Justin, I know you can't see us, but we did the DIY costumes. That's what I heard. I hear we're, we got a cat and a barrel of laughs. Yeah. That's, that's pretty awesome. How did you guys figure out how to do that? We uh, went, to social, <clears throat> went to social media. The people made suggestions, and then we followed their suggestions. Our producer gave us a bag full of items, and then we had to take those items and turn them into a costume. And I went to Google to learn how to do that, so thank you, Justin. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I Googled I how to make a cute a cat costume. <laughs> All right, so what costumes? Okay. You can actually tell us what costumes are trending in cities and, and in states. Like, what's, what's going on in Connecticut? Definitely. Yeah, in, in, in Hartford right now, the top uh, search trends around costumes in Halloween over the past 24 hours are how to make an outfit out of supreme plastic bags, so random, how to make a mermaid tail costume, and how to make a homemade rubber ducky costume. So I'm excited to see what oh Hartford my. has going on in the rubber ducky game. That is incredible. Oh, wow. Now, I know, at least in my house, I've got young ones. So my nine-year-old son really wanted a Fortnite costume that apparently sold out back in September. Like, you can, Google even tells you the trends of, like, the, the, the hot characters, right? Yeah, so if you, so to give you the background, Fortnite is basically the top trending costume over the past couple of weeks in every single city in the oh. United States. A couple deviated a little bit, but... Uh, everybody is basically going to Fortnite. Uh, and if you want to look at some of the more in-depth search trends and kind of look at a little bit of the other costumes that might be up on that list, you can go to frightgeist.withgoogle.com. So that's spelled F-R-I-G-H-T-G-E-I-S-T. -E and they've got good information there. What about Google helping us finding like Fright Fests and things like that? Can we, can we go onto Google and check that out? Yeah, if you're looking for any type of things that are happening within your area, you can head to Google Maps and search that, get directions there, search in the Google homepage. If you're not exactly sure what you're looking for, they can give you some in, in exciting information about some spooky locations around your area. Uh, I know I'll be trying to look for some haunted houses around my place tonight, so that'll be fun. Now, it's 3.40 in the afternoon, and if you're still thinking about, like, I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween in a couple of hours, yeah, what's the best thing to type into Google to kind of get this last-minute DIY, something that you could just use with stuff around your house? Yeah, so you can actually ask the assistant. You don't even have to type anything in. What should I be for Halloween? You can say, hey, Google, what should I be for Halloween? And you can spit out some suggestions there. But I think when it comes down to the DIY tutorials, you got to head to YouTube. I found out how to make my costume on there. I'm going to be a Tetris piece tonight. Ooh. And that was a great tutorial on YouTube. You can also check out different stuff about how to make your makeup look perfect, tweak your aesthetic, anywhere from like pretty general stuff like making yourself look like a zombie all the way up to like movie level horror makeup. I watched the tutorial about how to be the girl from The Ring last night and it was terrifying. It was really on point. So they've got some good DIY stuff there. What, what's trending across the country and in other big cities like New York or LA? What, what, do you know what those results are? Yeah, basically Fortnite is a big one, superheroes, unicorn, rabbit is actually high on the top list. Um, but again, you could head to that frightgeist.google, sorry, frightgeist.withgoogle.com, and it shows you a variety of different trends from around the country, which is really cool to see. Um, do you know if there's a trend uh, with cat and cat toys or a barrel of laughs? <laughs> You know, I didn't see Barrel of Laughs. I think Cat might be kind of generic on there, I got to say. Not a lot of uniqueness, but I'm a, I'm a fan of the Barrel of Laughs. I wish I could see you guys so I saw could see what you look like. J Justin, what's your background? How did you get to Google? Yeah, that's a good question. I've been working in tech for a couple years. I've been at Google for one year. Actually, this week is my one-year anniversary. I'm out at the mothership out in uh, our headquarters at Mountain View, and it's been awesome. Get to get a lot of exposure to a variety of different teams and understand just the awesome ways that Google can help you uh, in your daily life. Okay, so it's it always rated in the news. We always do stories about how it's one of the best places to work. Like, What's one of the best perks you have out there? Tell us how cool it is. I mean, there's good perks in terms of cafes and free foods mm, and nap pods food. and nap gyms pod. and pools. A nap I did. Pod. I took a nice nap yesterday. I took the red eye out to New York and I, I found a nice nap pod when I got to work and took a snooze. But I don't know. The people are also incredible, too. There's so many awesome, energetic folks with cool backgrounds. And I love coming into work every day to chat with them. Uh, is there one particular, you know, is there, uh, I'm just thinking of a big fright fest. Like, there's got to be one in every city and every state, right? 
Yeah, there definitely is. I'm sure that I don't know exactly what's going on in Hartford right now, but Google can help you out. Chat, type that into the search bar, and I bet it can figure out where you need to go to get extra scared tonight. Scott can also Google like the best kind of candy to buy to give out because I think Connecticut's favorite is the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, but I'm sure Google could tell us that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all subjective. I'm a big Twix guy myself, as, mm. as is, I like the, the Midnight uh, Milky Way is also oh, yeah. great. But yeah, head to Google, search it, search those uh, the top candies to get, and go go get them. Give, I, give the give the kids the king sizes I tonight. I saw an ad yesterday. It was for uh, Twix candy. It was on a half price, and it said um, it's something about cheap Twix, and they were singing a song from one of the. I, don't, I can't remember the joke, but it was funny. <laughs> That's He's awesome. a barrel of laughs, Justin. I'm a barrel thanks, of laughs, Justin. Thank you. Thank you, so thank much. you. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. All right, to learn more fun facts about oh, Halloween. It was I huh? want you to want me. That's what it was. <laughs> by cheap by cheap Twix. Cheap Twix. <laughs> okay, again, as Justin was telling us, head to frightgeist.withgoogle.com.